Hey, thank you for joining us uh, with Embracing the Journey. And today we have public worship with us. And Todd is just going to start us out with some questions. So It's awesome. So, Dana, if you could just answer this and then we'll just go around. In this season, have you personally worshipped? And a little background to that is collective worship has been removed. I mean, we haven't been able to gather. So, as worship leaders, how have you personally worshipped in this season? Uh it's been a difficult season because uh, this, that's my heart is collective worship. And so it's been difficult. But I was talking to a friend yesterday about how um, God really like spoke through some writers at the beginning of this mm-hmm. quarantine and gave us some really amazing songs. Yeah. And I feel like he was giving us tools at that point to like help push us through yeah. um, some of the best worship songs I've heard in a very long time maybe even ever came out right at the beginning mm-hmm. and so um, but one cool way that like my family does it practically is my kids love worship music and so every night um, after bath time we're getting ready to go to bed we have the ca- the kids sing on the couch and they like we listen to that and um, and just that's a time that I actually worship you know, the kids may just think it's fun, but for me and my husband, it's it's like it's real worship. That's um, awesome. And so it's been actually a really awesome experience that our kids have got to be brought into that. And um, like they're starting to sing the songs and recognize them when they first come on. And so there's just little things like that. So practically, our family has really been strengthened to worship together yeah. in our living room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think and thank God, you know. He, he sent us what we need to get mm-hmm. us through. It's yeah. just pushing through to use that yeah. and, you know, being intentional about that. So I love that. Um, I think for, for me, it's, we've talked a little bit about this, but um, we have dance parties, worship <laughs> dance parties in, in our house. And um, that's been a lot of fun. And I think... Um, Annie needs her overalls. Yeah, she <laughs> Annie has to have a certain outfit on her overalls. Yeah. <laughs> um, she is a big uh, Brooke Lidgerwood fan, so she, awesome. she wants her hair and everything. Um, but um, but seeing like Annie kind of in those moments, and obviously Jackson is just kind of smiling. At her, but but seeing Annie in those moments and kind of like really, I think even I don't know. I, just, I wonder about what's going on in her heart and mind and everything when while well, that's going on because it's just. It's so sincere. Now, she doesn't understand everything, but um, like it is worship for me. And so I think that's definitely been uh, an aspect of it. And um, even just getting, I've always done this, but I think probably grown in a time kind of where it's just like me and God and my guitar, you know? Mm-hmm. And really that's, that's if he's there, like there's, I mean, there's still worship, you know? And so that's been pretty beautiful. And um, we've been really thankful for that. And you're right. There's been some incredible songs that, it really helped get through it and really just trying to really dive into the thought that you said a lot Todd about like worship starts with the word mm-hmm. um, and to, to look and even even as we're going through this series that we're in now reading some all of like Psalm 40s all of those chapters yeah. just talking about how like um, when things are kind of bad you know you, and when David's what he's going through and when things are in the valley like how God is so good he's going through this like emotional roller coaster that I feel like we've kind of all been yeah. on uh, but there's still the truth in yeah. God's word um, that you can come home to at the end of the day. So, yeah, it's been really, it's been really interesting, uh, but definitely growing for sure. Yeah, ready for everybody to get back together. Mm-hmm. Um, but because there is power in collective worship, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful thing. It's not a, a bad thing, but it's been a really good time to evaluate just the the hard of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. So yeah, um, my worship's been. It's looked really different. Um, I mean, some of you guys know that my dad took a fall over the past couple weeks and so my worship's been very hands-on with him and just like mm-hmm. serving my family yeah. over the past couple weeks and it's helped like put a lot of things in perspective of just like the importance of my family uh the importance of just serving in general mm-hmm. um like when somebody physically can't get across the room without mm-hmm. you like you you get a, a totally different perspective on what like being the hands and feet of christ looks like whenever you're like having to be somebody's hands and feet yeah um so that that's been really really cool to just kind of like regroup and refocus why i do what i do um yeah and just going back to kind of echo what cody said like finding that time in the word and like really rooting myself i feel like this is a like a perfect like a beautifully set time 
for us to be able to just like refocus our minds mm-hmm. on what where our worship really comes from where mm-hmm. these songs that have came out really come from mm-hmm. like like the blessing that came out uh, a month or so ago like that's straight scripture yeah. um and like reading those things and like seeing roots of things and uh, like finding where your heart should should lie like not in the lyrics of the song but shouldn't be in the word and like because yeah. that's where it all should, should stem from regardless um mm-hmm. so this has been a really really cool time to just like recenter regroup um just like focus in on what's most important that's so, awesome yeah. if liam was here he'd be running in to sing the <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's, that's right that's a new song and if we don't yes. understand it's amen song yes. amen <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think for me, I've gotten a chance to just spend more time outside. Um, During the season, like, uh, before it was, like, a lot of video work and so forth, and that's, like, been the same, but the, what I'm doing video-wise has shifted into, like, a live format, and so because of that, um, I've, like, needed to, like, actually just spend time in God's creation, Mm -hmm. and I think in the past I've forgotten how like healing that is to just go outside and like just spend time outside but also like go up to like Okoe River or go up to uh Chohawi as like most uh college people do around here even though I'm not in college. <laughs> young uh, professional. Uh, young, young professional, professional. Yeah. Yeah. like most young professionals do. But just finding the, um, wow. oh, man. Oh, yeah. um so that's been like one way of worship, just spending time in his creation. Um yeah. and just in those moments, not uh, being in a rush to get through it, but just really uh, getting away from my phone, getting away from technology, and just saying, like, yes, the the news or whatever might be telling me, like, the world is ending, but it's like, right now, I'm content in mm-hmm. God and in, in His creation. And so, that's probably been the number one way of worship during this yeah. time. Yeah, I love that. And if you look around the room, there's chords and stuff. We actually just recorded our gathering for Sunday. So... We wanted just to take this moment to let you guys see, like, it's not just something that these guys do on Sunday. It's like, press play and let's sing. No, this is this is a lifestyle. You know, this is how we try to live, and we're all flawed, but we have all grown in this season yeah. in the way we worship. And Whitney, is there anything, or really any of you guys, that y'all want to add? No, oh, I think it's good. I think I love that the common denominator is just being rooted in the Word. Yeah. You know, and, like, I think that you were talking on it, Spencer, too, of just this season— it's been hard for a lot of us, but I think it has redirected our focus. Yeah, and it's yeah. given us time with family that we've not really probably had because we are so busy, mm-hmm. you know? And so I think it's been really good to just get back to just his word and what he says without mm-hmm. all the chaos that sometimes life brings, mm-hmm. you know? And I, I'm just excited as we join in together, like as a collective. Mm-hmm. I just think it's going to be strong and beautiful and it's going to be even more powerful than it already was you know when we can all join in together um leading worship or singing or hearing the word live i think it's just going to bring this freshness yeah that i think that we all crave now (laughs) and that we maybe we didn't realize we were craving you know before it happened and and this doesn't none of this came by surprise so or that's what i've just kept saying is nothing none of this is is by surprise it is he's he's known that this is going to happen and so we can choose to let it refine our hearts or we can choose to make us angry or yeah. frustrated in it which that's okay at times but let's get back to the word and get back to like what god can show us through this season so that's i awesome. think that's been really neat yeah. um and i think it's grown all of us even public worship wise in a lot of this and i think it's been cool yeah. to see so yeah. in awesome. every aspect of the church i think it's grown a lot of us so it's awesome yeah yeah i, w- I would just say um to, to echo that that um, Todd said something to our team a lot of times during the season, and uh, this may not be verbatim, but, but <laughs> you can correct it. Oh um, but basically, the habits that we form during mm-hmm. this time will go with us beyond this. And yeah. so, I think that um, there's been, I've had really high days and really low days during, yeah. during this time. And so, I think that um, knowing that, that while we are coming out of it and things are starting to reopen like don't waste this opportunity yeah. um to because i to to really grow in character of what worship is and and who jesus is and how he's real in your life mm-hmm. um, because i think where we live it could be so easy to just kind of make worship a, like a routine yeah. mm-hmm. and a tradition um, and so i look forward to you know when we're all back together in a, in a 
collective worship setting because I think it's just going to be more genuine. Yeah. Uh, because we we have been through something, and you know, none of us have been directly affected, you know, by COVID. Right. Uh, but this has been hard. Yeah. Right, for everyone, and so I think that. Um, when you go through something like that, you really see who God's character is in a new way. Yeah. Um, it's going to bring out something really beautiful if we allow it to. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. And I think that that's where we'll end. It's like, it's really on us at this point. You know, how we choose to navigate the season. You've heard that from a couple of different ones of us. So let's keep worshiping. And even as we are exiting the season, hopefully, <laughs> man, let's let what we've learned now, like grow us as worshipers even beyond this time. Yeah. So thank you guys. This was awesome. We're going to go eat Chick-fil-A because um, it's so in the hungry. other room and we're starving. All right? Love you guys. This is not social